So what you're going to hear is the Google Assistant actually calling a real salon to schedule the appointment for you. Let's listen. So how can I help you? Hi, I'm calling to book a women's haircut for a client. Um, I'm looking for something on May 3rd. Sure, give me one second. Mm-hmm. Do you have anything between 10 a.m. and uh, 12 p.m.? Depending on what service she would like, what service is she looking for? Just a woman's haircut for now. Okay, we have a 10 o'clock. 10 a.m. is fine. El Cocotero, how may I help you? Hi, I'm the Google Assistant calling to make a reservation for a client. Um, this automated call will be recorded. Can I book a table for Tuesday the 12th? Okay, cool. We've always been thinking about how should the system uh, kind of introduce itself. Uh, and the way that we think about it is really having four key elements. Uh, first is starting by saying what the purpose of the call is, because for the business that's really the important thing. You're calling for a reservation or what are you calling for? Second is disclosing that this call is from Google. Third, that it's from an automated system, so not just a human operator at Google, but an automated system. And then fourth, in states that require it, uh, we will disclose that we're recording the call. Great. And when did you say they want to come in? Um, Tuesday at 7 p.m. Okay, let me check. Making those systems sound and feel more natural, uh, you have a higher success rate of, of completing the call successfully uh, for kind of the business side and the customer side. Uh, and so as we kind of studied that and looked for ways to make it natural, we came upon uh, this idea that linguists call speech disfluencies, as ums and ahs, uh, that we all use every day in conversation. As linguists have studied this, they found that those words or non-words actually play a crucial role in helping the conversation to continue. Uh, and so they play uh, some really important purposes in our system to help both sides of the conversation kind of know that the other side's still listening uh, or introduce things like corrections uh, and clarifications. Hey Google, book a table for two at El Cocotero on Tuesday at seven. We're testing, uh, we're gonna go kind of slow. Uh, take it a uh, step at a time. So we're starting by testing with a group of trusted testers, a fairly small group, and a set of partner businesses that we work with, uh, really to get uh, feedback both from those kind of end users and from the businesses uh, and how they uh, respond to this kind of technology. All right, I'll call to book under your name and phone number, and I'll update you in the next 15 minutes. Is that okay? Perfect, thanks. Uh, a lot of the concerns that we heard about Duplex, and good concerns uh, as we announced it at I.O., but some of them were kind of around, wow, has Google created a general AI that can have any conversation and act like a person, and how will people know what it is? And I wanted to make clear that, we wanted to make clear that it's very far from what we've actually done. What we've actually done is trained uh, very deep models that know how to do very narrow tasks. Holiday hours, uh, restaurant reservations, booking a haircut appointment, those are really the three things uh, that you can do. So if you think Duplex is like a human, it's a very interesting human that can only do those three things. I don't have seven, but we can do eight. Uh, where the, the, the system doesn't know what the right next step is. And so uh, within the calls, what you'll hear is the system will try a couple times usually to kind of bring it back to what it understands. Uh, so, you know, if you're talking to the system and you say, well, uh, something doesn't, you know, something crazy. Oh, you're Google, well, what's the weather tomorrow? What you'll hear the system do is say something like, oh, I'm not sure I understand, but could I get a table for four on Tuesday? Right, so it'll kind of try to bring it back. If that doesn't work, the system is able to signal a human operator, and that human operator can either come in and just step in on the call. Uh, and so what you'll hear is someone saying, sorry, it sounds like our automated system was having trouble completing the reservation, but this is Dave, I'm the human, and you know, can, let's continue the conversation. Uh, or alternatively, they can, the, the automation can simply bow out and say, I'm, I'm not sure we're getting through this, so let me have someone call you back, and then have the human call back. Okay, we'll see you on a Tuesday, thank you. Okay, awesome. Thanks a lot.